Hey, it's Jake from eXp. Hey, we are diving into another real estate market update for the greater Houston area. It is August of 2022. We are gonna be revisiting the numbers that have come in and recap the market for July of 2022. In this ever-changing market, it's always good to stay up to date with what's going on, whether you're buying, selling, or investing. Let's get down to brass tacks. So let's get to it right now. Well, hey, it's Jake Johnston with the JJ Home Group brokered by EXP Realty. And I'm your favorite Houston area realtor. And if I'm not, I probably should be. But we're talking to people every single day. They wanna know what's going on in this ever-changing market around the greater Houston area. So if that is you and you're even thinking about getting into the market, you need to reach out to me today or even sooner so we can get up to speed on what's going on and set out a great game plan for you and your family talking to people every single day. So whether you're buying, selling, or investing in real estate, please know I've got your back for everything you might need. 281-660-4797, best way to reach me through talk or text. All right, let's jump into the numbers here. And if this is your first time visiting the channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button in the bottom corner and tap that bell so you can be notified anytime we put out a new video. We're constantly updating the channel with everything you wanna know about exactly what it's like to live in the greater Houston area and be a home buyer or a home seller in this market. So, all right, let me pull my screen up and share the data with you guys as we're looking at this and tracking this every single month. You will probably notice some recurring themes from what we've been talking about here over the last few months. But real quick, the greater overview, 5,000 foot overview of the Houston, Texas market. You kind of see some numbers in here that historically over the last 12 months, we weren't really used to seeing, but they've become the trend over the last three or four months. And we're talking about sales right here. Total sales are down about 17.4%. And this is compared to this time of last year. So you see our total July closings for 22, a little over 10,000, July of 21, a little over 12,000. So we're down about 17 and a half percent. Active listings, this is the other big key indicator we've been seeing more homes are coming on the market. And I think this is a result of the fact that home sales have slowed. So we've got more active listings out there. Buyers are kind of hanging out on the sidelines right now. We've got inflation going on. We've got interest rates that have risen over the past few months. Um, and just overall, I think some buyers are a little bit apprehensive to get into the market. However, I'll show you here in a little bit, there are signs that there are still plenty of home buyers out there. So don't fret from that perspective because I think there's good opportunities and there's home buyers out there taking advantage. But in any event, active listings are up 30%. Again, we're comparing this to last summer in July of 21. Uh, the another key number to focus on down here on the right hand corner are pending home sales are down 12 and a half percent. Obviously, if, if you know anything about supply and demand and basic economics, seeing this trend, it shouldn't surprise you that home values have cooled a little bit. We're not seeing those record appreciation rates of 20 to 25 percent. We're hovering closer in like the 10 to 15 percent range, depending on where you're located. Uh, you can see here for the greater Houston area you know, Harris County, 7 million people, it's right around 10%. So again, this is comparing this year to last year. We always wanna see this number in the positives. If this number is in the negatives, we're in real trouble because we are in a free fall, more or less. But the good news is, is we're not there. So here's the snapshot of the Houston market. I'm gonna dive into my tracking sheet here. This is the area I work. I'm located up on the north side of town. I'm in Spring and Klein Independent School District. I work anywhere from the Beltway up to Lake Conroe. And so you'll see here on the left-hand side, the areas I normally work. We're tracking active listings, new listings, homes sold, inventory, days to sell. And then we're uh, always tracking the, the home values over the trailing 12 months and giving us our appreciation rate. So common themes, we've already discussed this. Home sales have slipped a little bit. Active listings are up and home values holding steady. They're still up, so good news there. But let's go in here and look at some real numbers here. So if I'm looking at active listings, this is for Northwest Harris County. This is the trend for the year. So yeah, we've come a long way from the beginning of the year where we had 1,200 homes on the market. We got over 3,000 homes on the market right now. But what I wanna point out to you guys is keep in mind where we've come from over the last 12 to 18 months. We have been in an extreme seller's market where home values were going nuts, homes were selling with multiple offers, you know, 10, 12 offers in less than 24 hours on the market. So. Keep that in mind, we're, we're seeing more of a market normalization. That's a term you're probably gonna hear a lot. What I 
can demonstrate that by. This is 2022. Let's look at 2019 and pre-pandemic numbers, okay? So we're getting back to what was a normalized market and what we were kind of comfortable with back in 2019 before we got into the pandemic year. So we're still behind, right? 3,000 homes on the market compared to 4,300 back in July of 2019. This is for Northwest Harris County. Montgomery County, you're gonna see some very similar trends, right? 3,579 total homes on the market. Compare that to pre-pandemic of a little over 4,000 homes on the market, and it's back to a normal market or getting that way. This is what we've been used to over the last couple of years, 2,100 homes on the market. Earlier this year, it was 1,800 homes on the market. So again, we're, we're shifting back to more of a normalized market, and nothing is more evident when we look at the month's supply of inventory. This is the driver of what is a buyer's and seller's market. So a normal market is about six months of inventory. Anything below that number, you have a seller's market. Anything above six months is a buyer's market. Now, when we talk about months of available inventory, right here at 2.2 months of inventory. So this means if nothing else came on the market, no new homes were listed, it would take us approximately 2.2 months to sell everything on the market, and then we'd be out of homes for sale. So that's what inventory means exactly. But again, compare this to pre-pandemic numbers. 2.2 months now, 2.7 then. So we've been kind of a normalized market up there in Montgomery County, three months of inventory right now. Normalized markets kind of hovering in this three and a half to four months of inventory. Don't hit the panic button. I think this is a normal trend that we're gonna see as home sales drop, more listings come on the market. We are gonna see our inventory spread out a little bit. We're gonna have more inventory on the market but that's just getting us back to a normalized market. I think we got comfortable in these, you know, super fast paced markets. So buyers, I think you can take a, a deep breath. I think there's more options out there for you today than there was six months ago. That's evident in these numbers. Home sellers, I think your strategy has to change that when we were pricing homes out back at the beginning of the year, it was looking at historical data, but then maybe padding in, you know, 10 or 20 grand, maybe more depending on exactly your price point, but you were fine to do that and stretched a little bit because there were no other options. There was no competitions. Now home sellers, you've gotta be a bit more strategic. You've gotta look at what these other homes are selling for today. The numbers from February, March, and April are probably irrelevant when it comes to home comps because that was a different market back then. When you're looking at this market normalization, what normally would take about 12 months to normalize a market has compressed down into about 60 days. So that's what I think this drastic change has happened is because it's all happening so fast. But here's the good news. Let's look at average days to sell. Time on market is still extremely low. What does that mean? Homes are still selling and they're selling fast, but it is those homes that are priced accurately and correctly that are selling. The sellers that are still operating on the mindset from first quarter of 2022, you're probably overpricing your homes and that's why we're seeing more and more price reductions out there in the market. But compare this, what we're seeing now with still 15 days on the market, even last year, that was pretty normal. But pre-pandemic, we were looking at 40 days on the market to sell a home. In Montgomery County, it was over 50. So we're still well below what was a normal market in terms of days on the market. So that shows me that home buyers are still out there. Yes, I think some have pulled back, but there are still plenty of home buyers out there seizing the good opportunities that present themselves. So at the end of the day, where are we headed? I think if these trends continue in terms of our home sales dropping, I think we're going to see that continue as we get into the start of the school year, which is fairly normal for this time of year. But I also think that's gonna to continue to drive these active listings upward, more homes on the market home values. I think this will probably see this trend continue as it cools. 10% appreciation is still incredible. We normally hover around a three to 6% appreciation over the Houston area. So we're still doing really well in terms of home values. I don't see this going to completely reverse and drop the bottom dropping out, but I do think this is going to continue as we get into the fall and into the winter. And eventually, hopefully we can relieve some pressure on overall inflation relieve some pressure on the interest rate, give some purchasing power back to the home buyers out there so that they can be confident and get back into the marketplace and buy up some of the homes that are on the market. So the market is cooling, but I think we're getting back to a normal market condition. So no worries out there. There's still good opportunities. Loans are still affordable. There's still some good opportunities. If you're a home buyer, if you're a seller, 
you can still make more money today than you would have made last year. You just have to be more strategic in how you price your home, how you prepare it for the market because you are having to compete more now than you were even three months ago in the market. So all is good in the Houston area. We still have a lot of people that are moving here. I've got two buyers right now that I'm working with that are from out of state. They've never been here. They're pursuing a better lifestyle opportunity in the greater Houston area. I think that's gonna continue. More people will be moving here every single day. So overall, I think the market's in good shape. I just think we're cooling off back to what can be considered a more normalized market for what we're used to pre-pandemic. So I hope that's been helpful. Hope you guys can get some good information about what's going on with the real estate market in the greater Houston area. Reach out to me anytime, talk or text. You can leave a comment below. Tap that subscribe button, ring the bell. We wanna hear from you. I wanna partner up with you, build a relationship, understand your needs at the highest level so that I can help you guys accomplish your real estate goals. So whether you're buying, selling, or investing, I've got your back with anything you guys need. Have a great day and a great week. Stay safe.